The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, the season finale of season two, The Book of Carol. We are finally here, and it was a very strange season for this show. It's definitely not the way I thought it would go, because this show was very different in season one. Very different characters in general, and everything basically got flipped in this season. And... I didn't actually hate this episode. I think the last few episodes were okay. Uh, we did have some rough ones, though, this season for sure. Um, and it, it's definitely not a perfect season. Like, of all the spinoffs so far, you know, the three seasons of spinoff, or four, I should say, with Ones Who Live as well, uh, you have Dead City, Ones Who Live, and these two seasons of, Dar of Daryl Dixon. I think this is my least favorite season of the Walking Dead stuff since the main series ended so far just because of how much it changed from the first season because I really did like the first season of this show now it did still set up some stuff that could be really interesting and cool and we still have some really cool characters that are still around but it was definitely not a perfect season so let, let's get into this so last episode was saying and his friend Jacinta or whatever her name is we're going after Laurent, and he kind of took over Janae's people. And they are, it's basically the same scenario this episode as well, except Lo Sang is dead now. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm good with that. Like, he, he was fucking annoying as hell. But uh, he's gone. He's dead. And now we just have Jacinta. I finally learned her name in her last episode, because, yes, it is her last episode. And, uh, yeah, she's basically doing the same exact thing Lo Sang was doing in this episode. So you really didn't need to kill Lo Sang. He really didn't even though i'm glad he was dead because i got tired of him there was not really a purpose to it he's just dead this episode and the the same exact plot goes on anyways kind of strange but we start out with uh lauren and daryl just kind of relaxing and chilling talking about you know uh daryl's gonna stay behind you know lauren thinks daryl's gonna stay behind and go find a different way home because they can't fit everybody in the plane so they have a conversation uh, Carol and Ash have a conversation as well and Carol mentions to Ash that she actually wants Daryl and Laurent to go and she wants to stay behind and they're still kind of feuding because of uh, she lied to Ash about you know Sophia and all that stuff so that's something they're dealing with now while everything seems good like oh we shouldn't even be following Falu and all the them people anymore we still do cut to a new scene of Falu and Kadrin and some new character at least new to me I don't I don't recognize her till this episode uh part of that the good person group the good settlement there that in Paris and uh Kadrin's with them now and they're kind of I don't know exactly what they're looking for I honestly don't remember but uh, they're in this building. They see a bunch of dead walkers. It's like a hospital or whatnot. And then they get confronted by Jacinta, or at least her people. And they're trying to find the kid. They're still trying to find Laurent. So they get confronted. They do end up killing basically everyone there. I think except for the one like general lady. But uh, the lady comes up with her arrow and shoots one of these people in the head. Kills them. They take over and they get away. And they need to go warn Daryl that, wow. Okay, they're still out there. Still, they're still after uh, Laurent. So now we still got the same exact issue happening again, because they because Kadrin basically couldn't kill uh, Jacinta. I hope I'm getting her name right because if I'm not, it's gonna round, sound really really stupid this whole video. But I'm gonna keep saying her name like that. Uh, she's still around, and because he couldn't just kill her last episode, you know, like Daryl killed Lasang. Now we're gonna have the same problem again. It's it's kind of dumb, but that's the way it went. So he says we need to warn Daryl Dixon. We get some more scenes with uh, Laurent and Carol, and then we also get some scenes with Ash and Daryl. So it's good to see these characters that weren't really interacting all that much this season now getting some screen time. And I think Ash and Daryl are a pretty cool team together. I think they could be a pretty cool team together. Uh, he's starting to like Daryl a little bit because of him helping him, you know, protect him from a walker down in the sewers or wherever the hell they are looking for some mechanical parts for the plane. And uh, he's starting to really come around to Daryl, which is which is good. I mean, he's not really all bitter at Daryl. He's kind of more mad, I think, with Carol because of the whole thing. So we do cut to us another scene of, I, I do not remember her name, all the way to this episode. I just haven't memorized her name. But the lady from the bar... That was with Quinn last season. She was in the last episode. She likes Laurent. She wants to protect Laurent. So she's once again kind of off on her own in her own car, kind of driving around. 
uh, or at least getting drove around, and she gets stopped and surrounded by Jacinta and her people looking for Laurent. She gets dragged along and forced to tell her where Laurent is. So they desperately want to find Laurent, and now they're dragging this lady along to go and find him. And they come to this weird agreement where, you know, the one the lady here on the right will get the plane. She wants to get the plane to get to somewhere, you know, her home, and she wants to get back to her home. And then Jacinta can get the kid. She can get Laurent. So they have this weird agreement because she desperately wants to get Laurent, and, well, they're holding her up to gunpoint. So there's not much of a choice there. So she, they come to some weird agreement, and they go off. Ash is coming around to Laurent, finally. He's starting to, you know, get to know the kid a little bit. He's He really wants to kind of protect the kid now. He's like, okay, I can actually protect this kid instead of Sophia, which I thought I would be protecting and helping with Carol. You know, we still have this other kid here, and I can help him get to the Commonwealth and be safe. But as they're doing that, they hear someone come up, and it's Falu and Kadrin, and they are there to warn them that they are still looking for Laurent. So now they're getting prepared to fly off as quick as possible so they can get away before they even have to deal with fighting them. Uh, so they pull the plane out and get ready to go. Uh, we got Jacinta once again looking for Laurent, and, and I just looked it up because I'm tired of not knowing her name, Anna. Anna on the left here, she is supposedly leading Jacinta to where Laurent and the plane are because she's being forced to. So they're off into Paris going to find the plane and she is leading them towards Laurent. So she leads them into this like tunnel area and it ends up being a big trap. So she knows that there's a bunch of walkers in there and Anna basically tries to get away. While all of Jacinta's people start to die and get attacked by walkers, Jacinta herself actually gets attacked by the burning walkers on her face, and then she also gets bit on her arm. So she is now going to die. They don't do anything to her arm. So she's going to die. But it, what matters here is, can they stop her before she gets to Laurent here? Because she's still on a mission to get to Laurent. She's dying, but she's going to get to Laurent beforehand. So they get away. They all manage to get beside on one side of the gate. Jacinta gets away. They trap Anna on the other side of the gate that is down there in the sewers or, you know, the tunnel or whatever they're in. And they trap Anna with all of the walkers. And she does end up dying. But she saved a little time for Laurent to get away. She wanted to protect, She still wanted to protect Laurent. She didn't want to really give him away. And she hopes that they can get away, but she does end up dying to some walkers. So it's just another character that Daryl has been connected with and linked with within this series so far that is now just dying. So it's like this episode is like the final nail. Like we're, we're really wrapping up the whole France stuff for Daryl because I know we are going elsewhere next season. So we're just knocking off these characters and there's not really going to be many left going into season three. And it's going to be I feel like season three is going to be something totally new. Uh, for the most part, like we're gonna obviously still have some, a few remaining characters, but it's I think it's gonna be like a totally new conflict uh, over in Europe. So so Jacinta's still alive. She's got a burn on her face now. She's got a bite mark on her left arm, and she is now running out of time. But she still wants to find Laurent. So they still have to fix the plane up and because they're not ready yet. They were warned that they're coming, but they had, did not have the plane ready yet. So they got to get it ready as fast as possible. Uh, Carol decides that she's going to be the one to go. They decide that Carol and Laurent are going to go with Ash and Daryl is going to stay behind because he is the best one that knows the area. He's been there the longest. He knows kind of where to go and what he could possibly do to get back home. So they decide to leave Daryl and then they begin their startup of the, the plane. But the sh but Jacinta arrives with her people and a shootout begins. During the shootout, just some of Jacinta's people start to literally drive like motorcycles and cars after the plane as it is going up like the grass runway or whatever. Uh, and as they're doing that, Daryl has to take them out. He's trying to take them out. And you got the car running in. It's about to go all crazy. And Ash and Laurent manage to fly off all good because... The people that were in the car coming right at the plane were shot and killed. But by who? Because Daryl actually didn't manage to get a shot off. But in reality, it was actually Carol that got the shot off and took out the car. Uh, so they got the plane away and the plane flies off. Everything's all good, but Carol's still behind. So in this chaos, Carol still managed to somehow jump out of the plane and get in position to, to, to deal with the, the, the people coming right at the plane. Very interesting. 
I don't know how exactly she did that. This is our last moment with Ash and Laurent in this episode and the season. I think we're going to see them next season for sure. I mean, this episode plays it off like they actually got away and they're going to get home and everything is all good. And that's the way they leave it. They don't give us really any hints at all that, you know, anything's wrong and they'll make it home. But my prediction is in the shootout, maybe like gas, the gas got hit and they're going to like not make it too far and they're still going to be stuck. Maybe that'll happen. That's just my like theory and prediction right now. But I don't think they're going to make it home. I think something's going to happen and they're still going to be stuck there as well. And maybe Daryl and Carol have to go and find them or deal with it in some way. I could be wrong though. Maybe that, maybe that's the last time we'll see Ash and Laurent in this show, or until like the end of the show. I don't know. I hope not because I'm actually really starting to like Ash. I could care less about Laurent. He's just kind of there right now. He's not really like my favorite character or anything. But I'm I am actually starting to like Ash quite a bit, and I hope he becomes a main character that stays around because I'm so irritated that they're killing these characters, like especially Isabel. I am really, really upset that they've killed Isabel because it's just like the whole show is just different now. The whole thing is different from what season one kind of set up. You know, it, it's so strange. So Daryl and Carol are still left behind as Ash and Laurent fly off. Jacinta sees the plane fly up and she's like, shit, that's it, man. I lost. I lost. I'm dying. I got a bite on my left arm. I'm fucked. So she kills herself. And that's that's the end of it. So she's done. Everyone's all happy, kind of. And we cut to a little bit later. Falu and Kadrin, Daryl, Carol, they're all getting ready to go on to a, a journey to England. And they're going to find a different way home. And Falu finds these uh, like Scottish travelers or something like that. And they're going to basically pa- find the pathway. They're going to lead Daryl and Carol to England to get home. So we get a racism bad story from Falu and white people bad because of course we do in modern shows. Uh, Falu falls in love, which is kind of strange because he's kind of been like a little side character throughout this show. He's been there. He's been aiding them and all, but it's like kind of almost like a send off episode because I don't think we're going to see Falu anymore after this episode. We'll get to why, but uh, he starts to fall in love with that lady that we, I think met just this episode. But, uh, yeah, that starts to happen with him. Uh, Kadrin finds out that Daryl didn't actually kill his brother, and it was actually that lady from the first episode where, you know, she did the final blow on his brother, and then she lied to Kadrin early on last season, and he kept thinking that Daryl is the one that killed his brother. In reality, Daryl didn't kill him. He was going to, but he's not actually the one who killed him. So he learns that it kind of creates a stronger bond between these two because uh, these two were already kind of cool. But, you know, he still thought Daryl killed his brother. But in reality, now everything seems pretty damn good. So these guys are pretty good allies now. I love to see it. I really like Codron. I think he can become a much greater character going forward. Um, And I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully more of him next season. Uh, Carol and Daryl have another conversation and carol starts to mention like she can't even remember sophia's face anymore she's losing her mind over losing sophia henry she also does mention lizzie because we all know like you know look at the flowers scene from earlier in the walking dead when she had to kill lizzie because lizzie was a psycho child uh you know she mentions lizzie she mentions she mentions henry uh and then we get sophia as well so she's just all these kids that she has lost in her journey here of you know the walking dead story is, uh, you know, getting to her mind now, which I actually do get. It's not like an out-of-nowhere thing that's kind of random and weird. It doesn't make sense. It does actually make sense because, you know, after The Walking Dead ended, you're like, okay, everything's kind of chill now. They're at the Commonwealth. Life is good, and they're settling down, and what's really left is just their own thoughts, and they're thinking, and they're, they're kind of thinking about everything now as they're finally at this place that's safe. So Carol and Daryl's journey is apparently going to go through this big tunnel from France, and it's going to lead them to, I don't know, England or whatnot, and they're going to find their way home. So they got to go through this big, massive tunnel. Falou says his goodbyes. He says he's going to stay behind because he's found new love. He's got a reason to stay. So Kadrin, Daryl, Carol, and these two new navigators are going to go through into the tunnel and hopefully get their way out. 
So as they go in, immediately they set up the big issue here, and I, I think the tunnel thing here at the end is kind of strange. I mean, it set up some cool action scenes, I suppose, with some of the walkers and whatnot, but it was a really weird sequence here at the end. It felt really like like a final, you need to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, they literally start to inhale bat shit. Yes, right here on the caption says it says there's like bat shit on the ground and I guess it's like making them all loopy and crazy because there's bats in the cave. So as they're going through the cave, they see that there's like this, you know, settlement that was all killed off and everyone died and killed each other. So it's starting to see that like maybe they all hallucinated and killed each other. Well, shortly after they see this abandoned settlement of, you know, dead people, they start to see glowing walkers of like bio luminescent whatever things growing on them so they're all glowing just to have another cool looking walker in the scene but they're all starting to lose myth they're all starting to lose their mind now carol's starting to see sophia again because of course she is daryl's kind of starting to lose his mind he's starting to you know see walkers a little weird codron is starting to see his own brother now so we got a sophia right there uh we also got to see a walker carol which is kind of interesting because typically we don't see that unless the character dies but uh, we got like a hallucination of Carol fighting a Walker version of herself. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, Codrin and Daryl fight again after Daryl kills the Walker that Codrin thinks is his brother. So they fight off again. They're all crazy. They're kind of losing their minds. And then Codrin just runs off after his brother Walker, which is not actually there. So Codron, that's the last time we see him this episode. He's just running off somewhere. I think he'll be alive still. I think he'll be fine. I, I hope so because he's kind of a cool character. But everyone's just losing their shit right now. So he runs off and we don't see him again. Daryl's still in the cave as well, losing his mind. Oh yeah, and remember the navigator people that were helping them? Well, they're not helping them anymore because nobody's ever good anymore. So they betray Daryl. They knock him to the ground because they want the face masks that they saw at that settlement. So as Daryl is lying on the ground after getting hit by a shovel, these two navigators, whatever, they're just standing over him and they plan to kill him. Daryl gets to hug Sophia in her weird vision and she, it's like she's kind of getting over like, you know, Walker, Sophia is now walking away and she still gets to, you know, see her daughter's face again and she gets to hug her daughter in this weird hallucination, bat shit, whatever is going on in this cave. Uh, so she goes and wanders back to, to Daryl. And then Daryl is on the ground hallucinating Isabel. So we get to see Isabel one last time. And it's Isabel basically telling Daryl, you're going to live. You're going to survive. Come on, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Because, you know, Daryl's not going to die. Uh, she looks over. Daryl gets to see his grandfather, I believe, that fought in the war. So we get a hallucination of his grandfather, too. Which was kind of out of nowhere, to be honest. She says, don't die here like he did. So they do that. Uh, we get one last shot of Isabel there. Hallucination Isabel. Daryl looking over at her. And uh, that's it. That's like kind of the send off of the character. She walks off into the fireflies or whatever they did. So that's it for Isabel. And it's just like another reminder of like, what are we doing, man? Like, I, I actually liked her character quite a bit. And I'm, I like Carol. That's the thing is I really am glad. I'm, I, I really like that it's a Carol and Daryl show. You know, that's what I wanted from when they first announced this show years ago. Like, it was supposed to be Daryl and Carol. I get that. But then it wasn't. You know, Melissa McBride, which I understand if she wants to come back, but it's no longer a Daryl and Carol show. It started off now as the Daryl Dixon show. But with Carol now coming back, it, it did mess everything up. I think that really changed everything. And now all these characters that he came to know and care for are almost all dying and stuff. We got Laurent left. You know, Codron's now kind of there with him. But that's it, man. And now everyone's just gone. You know, Isabel's just dead. And we're going to move on now. So I don't like that. And uh, yeah, that's why I just don't think this season's as good. You know, this whole new show that they set up for Daryl, this very unique type of show, just kind of feels like another Walking Dead spinoff now. Just kind of whatever like it's fine it's got some cool stuff but it just doesn't feel as unique as it did in season one that that's all i really gotta say about it so daryl and carol they reunite he says codron ran off they grab the face masks so they don't get all loopy from the bat shit 
and they walk off into the cave, the glowing cave. And that is it for Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol, season two, uh, season finale. This was, as I just said just a moment ago, a, a really big change from season one. I know they're going to stick around in uh, Europe a little while longer. I don't know how long this is going to go because, you know, you know, they can only stay stuck there for so long before they can freaking get back. But I think maybe like another season or two at most for this show before Daryl can finally get his way back home. In my perfect scenario, I could see this show ending with Daryl and Carol getting home and both of them reuniting with Rick and Michonne. That could be pretty damn cool. That would be actually a pretty damn good perfect ending to this show. Daryl and Carol get back home. They reunite with Rick Grimes. It's just like that one good scene we really want to see. Uh, Laurent's there maybe as well. Maybe Ash. You know, stop killing people. Just send them home. Damn it. Just do it. All right. I'm tired of seeing people die. All right. I know it's the Walking Dead universe, but they've been killing way too many people. I'm kind of sick of it right now. Just send them home. Every, you know, do a little bit more of an adventure and... Just send them home, please. I'm, I just want to see the happy ending at this point. Because I don't know how much more of The Walking Dead we can get out of the, these original series characters. I think we need to start wrapping it up. And I don't like being the one to say that. Because I really love all these characters a lot. But I think we need to get to that point. Where Rick is reunited with Daryl. You know, we get like a season or two more of Dead City. Get the story wrapped up with Negan and Maggie. And just wrap up these characters because I, I I think we need to get to that point not saying that these spin-offs have been terrible or anything but I just think we we can't go too long with this especially with this show now with how it's been changing so suddenly it's like I don't know how much more of it I really need to see now I just the the only thing I want to see last is Daryl and Rick re reunite I just want to see that I don't think we're going to really get any more of Rick Grimes. I've accepted that now. I think the whole ones who live thing was that's it. It's over now. Rick is back home with his kids and everything is good for him. I think we're done with Rick Grimes, you know, outside of a few scenes that they could do. And I just want to see Rick and Daryl reunite. I want to see them get home with Carol and all them. I want to see him get home and end it there. But we still have quite a little bit to go before we get to that point, which I hope we do get to. But uh, that is it for Season 2 of Daryl Dixon. The next series, of course, is Dead City Season 2, which looks fascinating. I don't know where it'll go. I hope they don't undo Negan's story because I really like that he kind of, you know, he can't really redeem himself from what he did. But I, I do hope they don't undo Negan. But that's, that's a discussion for that show. Daryl Dixon Season 2. I didn't like it nearly as much as season one, but there is still potential for it to be really fun going into season three. <laughs>